if any of your misdemeanors relate to the addiction issues, then I would certainly recommend that you cover them and be in full disclosure about that. But alternatively, if, you, there, if there's no actual record of the addiction in terms of disciplinary action or charges or anything like that, then you may not need to cover it. And that's a decision for you to make, but you're not obligated to if the character and fitness questions don't address it directly. So if it was totally behind the scenes and you took care of it and it's no longer an issue, you may be better off not talking about it because law schools may have some concerns about it and better safe than sorry for your chances. Alternatively, if you do need to cover this because it is within the scope of the character and fitness questions, then I would have a very concise, matter of fact, direct statement about describing what the issue was, how you resolved it, why it's not going to be an issue going forward. So it could be something like, I was an addict for a couple of years or whatever it may be. I suffered as a consequence of it. I went to recovery. I went to regular meetings about it, and it's no longer a concern. And it's, it's, in my past, I've been clean for X number of years, and it's no longer an issue for me. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.